Hotep Virgo, welcome to your what's going on behind closed doors love reading for the month of August 2021. My darling will set this off with the divine doors, okay? I shuffled about a hundred times and I was presented with this card for you, Virgo. As you can see, it looked like somebody has withdrawn themselves, love. This person right here is in some type of deep contemplation mode. They are thinking and, and uh, you know, planning and scheming and plotting, okay, about something that they want to give to you, Virgo, as an offering, baby. On the back says offerings, love. Now, it says here, abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around virgo looks like this person is uh trying to uh resurface back on the scene with you but you got your heart closed to it so the this card right here is telling you to open your heart and receive this type of love this person is trying to share to you now i can see what the uh modern love tarot that there has been a tower between you and this person virgo okay this uh tower was something that really really destroyed uh your relationship okay it was like it brought it down look at this whole mess back here it's like wow okay and this person is the one responsible because now they're looking away towards new horizons acting like they don't care there's a tower burning back here but this is your person right here responsible probably for the whole thing because they didn't want to listen to you they didn't want to hear you out they didn't want to you know even take into consideration how it is that you were feeling during this whole situation with them that this person was uh not taking into consideration what it was that you wanted from them in the relationship okay this person was like acting like they didn't want to give what it is that you wanted so the tower or what it is that you needed or was necessary was necessary necessary sorry necessary for you in a relationship okay now here we got the star right here this person looking to the universe looking to the ancestors looking to the deities asking for some type of help to get you back virgo but i'm thinking baby baby bay, bay. as bad as this tower is looking right here uh, i don't think you're trying to come back to that That's the reason why this heart is even closed because this was a bad tower i mean this person you tried to build something up with this person and this person was like nah baby Nah, I'm going to not cooperate and keeping this whole thing up to par. I'm going to be somebody who is just continuously in some type of moody energy. Okay, some type of nastiness. All right. Now, Virgo, we're going to clarify the modern uh, love tarot with the uh, Casanova, baby. Okay, let me get you three shuffles. This is your, uh, or for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith, love. Okay. I am the Cosmic Divine Tarot, Virgo. And to those of you who are just now joining my station, I'd like to thank you for my channel. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, loves. I appreciate you and your support. And I hope you hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know that we'll be uploading new messages for you. Now, to those Virgos who are returning, welcome back, my darlings. Let's clarify this whole tower right here. What in the world is going on with this tower? Huh? Okay. Boom. Okay, now somebody heartbroken. Look at this. Somebody heartbroken. Now this person sitting up here uh, not doing what it is needed in a relationship to keep it going. Right, Virgo? To keep it going in a healthy mode anyway. Right? This person on some type of negativity. On some type of, you know, this could be them right here. This is them right here. But this is also you. This is you during your relationship with this person trying to make this whole thing work out. This person right here, Virgo, acting like you wasn't walking around booty butt naked with your sexy body. Acting like this person didn't want to smack you on the booty and start kissing and licking all up in between the booty. You got your breast out here too how this person gonna act like they don't want to pay attention to the nipples okay what the heck going on with the wand and the kitty this person sitting up here acting like they uh heartbroken and, and whatnot this person acting like yo they wasn't spending enough time on that they wasn't smacking your booty enough they wasn't squeezing the butt enough Okay, that wasn't giving you what you need, Virgo. And I'm thinking it's because you come, you came off like so innocent and so pure to this person. And so maybe they felt like uh, you wouldn't want them to smack you on the booty. But you did. You wanted this person to smack you right on the booty. And you wanted them to smack you on the booty real sexy. Like, let's go ahead and um, get you some more. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. It's like a third party stepped in on the scene. Eight of chalices. 
Eight of chalices, Virgo. Okay. And somebody walked in on this person. Now, is that what happened with the tower? Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, so we got, wait a second. We got somebody here heartbroken because they ain't getting their booty smacked. They're not getting their, their wand and their, their kitty satisfied. And they certainly ain't getting no nipple satisfaction or no nipple action. You mean to tell me this person went ahead and gave some nipple action, some booty action, some tongue, even some daggone tongue action to somebody else? Mm. Virgo. No, they did not. How dare this person do something like that to you? And what the heck? Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at who they chose over you. This person right here, look, they ain't got no really big boobies. I don't see the breasts or anything, but I mean, come on. You look like you got some big breasts right here, Virgo. And this person chose somebody else's breasts over yours. Were they crazy? Mm-mm, mm-mm. So it looks like you walked in on them. You walked in on them. Now, here we got this person right now at the four of uh, swords here. Or it could be if you didn't walk in on them, somebody else told you that they seen this person with somebody else. Now, here we got four swords here. Now, this person in the prison of their mind. Up there in some type of deep contemplation trying to get Virgo back. Trying to act like they want to step on the scene right. The right way. Why is that? Because it's been some type of hard burden with the, uh, the ten of wands, Virgo. I'm thinking you are the one who is like... Like, you know, you bring a lot of bread to the table, Virgo. You know, you got you make your money. You bring a lot of finances and you bring a lot of comfort, okay? You're somebody who knows how to go out there and get what it is that you need to make your life pleasantly satisfying for you, okay? Now, here we got this person right here. Look like they probably got some type of gambling problem, too. Everybody around them watching to see what they're going to do with their money, okay? So, if this person is spending their money on something else other than the relationship, you could have money problems with this person, okay? Now this person trying to come back because they need their star back. Because their Virgo was somebody went out there and, and got what it is that they needed. Or got what it is that they um, set out to get. Come on, come on. What else we got, Virgo? Now this per person trying to come back. Here we go. Eight of wands now they're trying to come back by themselves but they left with somebody else didn't they they left with somebody else all right mm-hmm okay stay in that prison don't you try to come back up virgo the heck man here we got the eight of, eight of wands here somebody trying to come back with some passionate communication like Virgo, I miss you. I love you. You look, I, I know I just, I, I, like, I had sex with her, but I make love to you, okay? <laughs> That's what they're trying to say. I make love to you. Yes, I went ahead and fucked her, all right? But I make love to you. This is person that don't, they don't care about uh, this other person that they went ahead and had sex with that you caught them with. Or at least they're trying to say that, baby. Now, here we got the star right here again. Here we got the star right here again. Somebody trying to, you know, uh, bring it back. They're real hopeful. They're praying real hard, okay? Praying real hard. We got the star twice on the board, all right? This person is praying real hard to get their star back on the scene, all right? Because it used to be you two together, maybe glazing up at the, the stars and whatnot. Y'all like to do that, especially during the summer solstice. When you see all these beautiful stars out there and the weather is just right for it. Now, this person right here is somebody who trying to you know do whatever it takes to get you back baby king of wands queen of chalices okay yeah king of wands stepping back on the scene like uh yeah i'm about, about, I'm about to utilize this wand i'm about to show you that i can do it all up in the kitty and the booty and whatnot and i just want you to just open up for me and this could be uh same sex or you know opposite sex going on here now here we somebody if this is if this is the same sex this person right here is you virgo and uh you are in your feminine energy you're tired of this person right here not satisfying you now they're trying to come back with some type of satisfaction now who you could be dealing with if i didn't call out the signs is a definitely a cancer pisces scorpio aquarius 100 percent leo aries sagittarius and here's the scorpio right here okay uh yeah uh this person wants to come back and get you booty butt naked and get your legs open and, you know, make you go ahead and climax because that's what this uh, cup is in representation of, okay? Yeah, they want to make you climax, Virgo. But Virgo is like, look here, baby, baby, baby. I can climax my daggone self because I'm the queen of wands here. I was trying to get you to be smacking all up on my booty. But you act like you don't want to smack my booty or, 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 or even kiss and caress and lick it and rub it, okay? But you want to act like you want to just pay attention to somebody else's booty. So I'm going to get somebody else to pay attention to this lusciousness. So don't you even think about coming back this way, okay? 
That's what you said, Virgo. Like, I don't care how many times this person got the dad going starved. <laughs> I don't give a damn. This person went ahead and had somebody else on me. What you think I'm going to do? Show him this booty again? Show her this wand again? Oh, nah. And even if you are a masculine, this feminine like to, uh, you wanted this person to pay attention to your booty. Because you got a real cute booty, don't you, Virgo? I mean, you got a real cute booty. You think this person is supposed to be rubbing it, kissing it? You could be somebody who wants them to lick all up in it. Because that's what men want these days. Or some men want women to be licking all up in the booty. Okay, so this person right here, you could be like in your feminine energy. Virgo, if you're a male, you're in your feminine energy and you ain't trying to hear because you ain't trying to hear nothing nobody got to say, all right? You just all about you. But this person wants to say something to you anyway. So, Virgo, I got to tell you what they want to say, okay? Now, what they want to say to Virgo, I know you ain't trying to hear it, but here we go. Here they, I told you, baby. I told you. This person coming back with the wand. They're coming back as the king of wands. Like, I'm going to make you climax so hard tonight. Okay? Tonight, baby. Tonight, Virgo. Yeah, expect this person to step on the scene talking about, come here, baby. Can I just touch you? Just kiss me then. They just want to kiss. They want them lips on them again. But hold up, Virgo. I'm like, wait a minute, baby. What about the lips of this scumbag right here that you was kissing on? This Gank right here. This, this, uh, <laughs> whoever the heck they were. Now, who the heck? Mm -mm. Talk about you just had. No, I'm not trying to hear that crap. Look, it's not that I don't care. I, I'm just so weak for you. Oh, really? You're so weak for me that you went ahead and stuck your tongue and your wand in somebody else's pond, okay? Oh, no, nah, I ain't trying to hear that crap. You weak for me. Now, I look like you weak for somebody else, baby. Was it all that you hoped and dreamed of? No! Damn it. You were not all that I hoped and dreamed of. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Virgo. I had to laugh at that one. Let me see that. <laughs> okay. Tell me your deepest fantasy. Oh, now they're interested in your deepest fantasy. <laughs> Virgo, you just ain't got this to do no more. You like, nah, baby, no, 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 no. Take off your clothes and get in here, boy. Boy, please, girl, please. I, ain't, you ain't ever gonna get a taste of this wand again or this kitty again. You ain't ever gonna get the opportunity to be smacking all over my booty. Get the heck on the body. What the heck think this is? Come on, baby. What the heck did? Come on. What the heck? What else you trying to say? Oh, you miss me. Oh, they miss you now, Virgo. They miss you now, baby. Okay. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Go back to that heifer you was with that you was, uh, you know, having all types of fun with. I'm not blind. I know all they want to do is take you from me. You already knew they had somebody else, Virgo. You already knew you ain't blind. You're no daggone fool. You're the hermit. You are a seeker of knowledge. And you seek the knowledge out. You already knew that this fool had this heifer on the side right here. Mm-hmm. Virgo, well, hey, okay, baby, all right, I'm going to get you one more card and see what else this person got to say to you, okay, we got this card right here, baby, here we go, oh, let me love you, like this person know what love is, you don't think this person even know what love is, and I think the universe, the ancestors, and the deities agree with you, because they want you to go ahead and protect yourself when this fool try to step on the scene and show some attention to the booty. Now, here is the crystal spirits right here, baby. Here we got uh, two crystals for you. The first one is Blue Chalcedony. Now, yeah, the Blue Chalcedony look like something that's broke off from, you know, uh, this this crystal right here. Look like it's like, you know, some type of tower going on here. This person seemed to be going to try to step back on the scene and bring the tower with them to knock down your defenses because they're heartbroken about what it is that they did. So get the blue chest of donuts so that you don't allow this to happen. You strengthen your defenses. And here we got the dad going, uh Rose Quartz right here. Oh, yeah, you're not going to care if they love you because the Rose Quartz is going to help you or, you know, have you self-loving, all right? Now, you're seeking that out anyway, Virgo. You're already self-loving your dad going self, and you're doing it more and more and more however this person right here think they're going to make you feel bad stepping on the scene uh you know what i'm saying trying to give you the wand you're like no they're trying to give you the kitty the booty you don't want that wand you don't want that kitty and you damn sure don't want the booty all right and you ain't going to give them your booty either so that's just it's over it's over kaput done 
with it, it over. Take your daggone tower, your dark energy, your moodiness, your cheating, your nonsense. Get the hell on, okay? Virgo ain't trying to deal with it no more. You had your chance. Virgo is look, it's talking about, what, what does it say, Virgo? Offerings. So what does it say? Like, uh, abundance lies in the heart that allows... <laughs> Your heart allow your heart is allowing for something new. That's what's happening here. Okay, absolutely. This person right here, like mm, you had your chance, baby. Now, uh, this is Virgo. This has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages for you, Virgo. And if this is not your message, then don't worry about that, cause I'm just gonna go ahead and get you next time, Virgo. You know I'm gonna get you next time, so no worries. Now, love, if you enjoyed this reading and you want to tip a sister or send a donation, uh. The way to do that will be in the description box below with the Cash App and the PayPal. And I certainly appreciate you all 100%. Now, Virgo, if you need a personal reading, that will also be in the description box below. How to contact me, okay, through WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. And I'm offering other, I'm looking for other avenues of people to contact me. But I'm definitely trying to get Skype back. It just slows down my devices so much. Anyway, Virgo, until next time, my love, peace, love you, and light. Hold up, baby.